Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are on our way to the University of the Philippines in Diliman. It is considered to be one of the top universities of the country. So let's explore the University of the Philippines in Diliman. Let's go. And we start our visit today, guys, at Oblation Plaza. A beautiful, nice area here with over there the 3.5 meter high Oblation statue, the iconic symbol of the University of the Philippines. Let's take a closer look towards the statue. And here we have it, guys, the Oblation statue. We can see a human stretching his arms looking towards the sky and uh, it actually is representing the 350 years Spanish rule here in the Philippines and it's a beautiful beautiful statue and look over here the nice fountains very nice and a beautiful beautiful lane that goes all the way till the end there And here it is written, guys. The university was founded on June 18th, 1908. That's like 115 years ago. Impressive, right? And look at this beautiful, beautiful building here. The main campus here dates back from 1949. And this uh, place is immense, guys. 493 hectares. <laughs> incredible and this is only one of 17 campuses around country can you believe who doesn't want to study here look how beautiful it is with the fountains the greenery everywhere the palm trees beautiful plants flowers big lanes going towards the university ha ah, incredible I love it so much here. If I was a student and I live here in the area of Quezon or Manila, I would for sure study here. Wow, what an amazing place. So the first building we see here behind the Oblation statue is the lovely Quezon Hall. And look at this beautiful building with the columns and everything. It actually houses the administrative offices of the campus here. And uh, it's a beautiful building. Let's see if you can visit it. Look at this scale model, guys. Oh my God, amazing. This is all the campus. 493 hectares. Incredible. They have like everything here. Look what they all have here. Um, cultures and arts and cultural park, business and complex, all of the complex, education, engineering, faculty, home economics, international affairs. It's more on complex with this last Yeah. It's incredible. So we will spend quite some time here, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go explore the campus. So just behind the Kazan Hall, we have this beautiful amphitheater. Look at this, such a nice place to enjoy a concert maybe, or have a picnic on the grass, playing some uh, soccer. Wow. Yeah, just here behind the building. And over there, we also have a beautiful statue in the middle of the amphitheater. To be honest, this place is so huge, so I have no idea where should I go first. But uh, I think I will probably go that way. I see there's like a tower or something like that. Could be nice. Look at this interesting looking building here, the Villa Moore Hall or the University Theater. It's the main venue here 
on campus. It can hold around 2,000 people. And uh, it has quite a unique look. Look at this. And Matt, I was always wondering, can you do this as well? Look at, look at this lady. What is she doing? Levitating or something like that. Maybe I can sink into the water. <laughs> or maybe she has just very strong hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you try that, Matt? No, I can't. No, you cannot? <laughs> yeah, no. Wow, this is a beautiful statue. Beautiful long hair. And she's naked. <laughs> and here we have the entrance to the theater. Probably it will not be open, but uh, we can try. Not much to see, actually. I'm still impressed with the statue, though. Matt's a stew. <laughs> wow, look at this beautiful tower. Incredible. So what is this tower, Matt? Carillion Tower. Oh, okay. I read somewhere that it's actually the first in the country. Can you believe it? Hmm? It's 40 meters high and oh. constructed in 1952. 1952. And it's just next to the Villa Moore Hall. Look. And if you look at the top, you can actually see the bells. There are 46 of them. And they were made in the Netherlands, which is a neighbor of us in Belgium. <laughs> and here they say something, the restoration of the UP tower. And everywhere around the tower, they have these small columns here. I have no idea why these columns are here, to be honest. Maybe they're like people who donated this tower or something like that. So Matt just told me that uh, these columns are actually from people who donated. So I was uh, right. <laughs> and it is a beautiful tower, guys. Look at this. Unfortunately, we cannot go inside. I was hoping to go inside, climb the tower, get my morning exercise. But uh, no, not gonna happen. At least not here. So guys, when you are here at 7 a.m. in the morning or 5 p.m. in the evening at this beautiful tower here, the tower actually will play some well-known UP songs, Filipino songs. So uh, it's nice to see when you're here around that time. They even have a tennis club here, guys. So a lot of tennis courts here as well. Some students practicing there. And it's so nice to have a walk here. Everywhere you have these traffic free lanes where people are jogging, having a walk and uh, the trees at each side of the street give you that lovely shade so even when it's hot it's not that hot at all oh amazing place to have a walk oh and over here we have another interesting building what is this look at this huge sundial here it seems this was a gift Tau Alpha's gift to the UP College of Engineering. Yeah, really interesting. It's so big. I cannot believe. And over here we have another impressive building, the Melchor Hall. It's the home of the College of Engineering. Maybe I can ask them to design a teleporter so I can come to the Philippines every day. And also, that way I can annoy Mats all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, every day I can annoy you. If they invent a teleporter, I can come to the Philippines every day. Every day, every yeah, day. Yeah, and I can annoy you every day. <laughs> yeah, impressive building. Look at this. So in case there are future engineers watching this video and that will study here, invent the teleporter right now. And right across the Melcher Hall, we have the Battle Way. So let's follow the Battle Way. So we're now walking on the Beta Way. It's a walkway that many UP students take every day to get from one side of the campus to another side of the campus. With behind us the Melkor Hall and uh, right over there at the other side the Palma Hall. So let's walk on this lovely path to the Palma Hall. And look at all the greenery here. Ah, so beautiful. Plenty of butterflies as well. Such a relaxing place, so quiet. It's uh, really nice to have a walk here on this path in this grove here, passing by even a small creek over there. Look. Here we have a nice small creek that got dried up. The UP Promenade. And plenty of benches to relax here. When you have a little break between classes, you can come here and study here. So nice. And over there we have another massive building, the Gonzales Hall. Look at that. Seems they're working there. And here a closer look to the Gonzales Hall. Impressive. And a kitty relaxing. And over there we can see the socket where you can charge your phone or use your laptop and just study. Amazing place. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Shut out. <laughs> and on the other side of the Beta Way, we have the Palma Hall. Look at this. All the buildings look a little bit the same, to be honest. So, over there, we have the Gonzales Hall. We couldn't get any closer because of the works they have there. So, maybe there's another way to go around it. Because inside there, there is the main library of the university. So we are now behind the Gonzales Hall in the Sunken Garden. And the reason why they call this the Sunken Garden is because of his bassin-shaped form. Look at that. Yeah, it's a great, great place to play some soccer, baseball, frisbee or just have some fun have a picnic like they are doing there and there you can see the UP sign behind the Gonzales Hall wow the Gonzales Hall is actually one of the most important buildings here on this campus it has the main library inside and here we have the UP sign just behind the Gonzales Hall. And if you think about it, how many people would have studied here over the past few years? Wow, so many, right? And I'm sure plenty of them are trying to make the world a better place. I think even many famous people have studied here as well. 
I will check it out in a second. I just googled some names from people that studied here and the first name that came up was Lenny Robredo a former vice president here in the Philippines and who also became second at the 2002 president elections just behind Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Yeah, so plenty of people have studied here that had a big influence on the Philippines. It's the first university here in the Philippines that I visit, but for sure I will visit more. So another beautiful building on campus is the Malcolm Hall, which is situated in this building here. It's actually one of the most beautiful buildings on campus, but also one of the oldest, built between 1939 and 1940. And it really is a beauty of a building. Look at that architecture. Incredible. It gives me some Italian vibes, an Italian villa or something like that. Wow. Always nice to find a nice stand nearby with some ice cold drinks. Oh, I really need this one. Every drink tastes better in the Philippine heat. Cheers, guys. Ah, so refreshing. Whoa, they even have a church here on campus. Can you believe? Look how beautiful. Here we have a little of information about the church, but uh, I will not read all of this, guys. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> This church was built because of Catholics in the faculty, students and staff. They raised funds by working hard in the early 1950s so they could build this uh, magnificent church here. And actually this church reminds me a little bit of the Greenbelt Chapel in Manila, probably because of its design. But it's a really, really beautiful church. And guys, look at this massive concrete dome. It's so impressive. Within the center, the sculpture of a crucified and risen Christ. And of course, uh, the marble altar below it. I will go a little bit closer. Look at this beautiful marble altar. With the carved in figures. And here at the other side, the risen Christ beautiful and we have a lot of paintings on the church as well that shows the root of Christ towards his crucifixion you can see here all these different paintings you can see all these paintings here that are in chronological order yeah quite simple church but beautifully decorated with those paintings. Well, that was a nice visit to this simple but beautiful church. Now let's go back outside. I really love to walk around here at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. What a lovely place. Oh my God, they have another church here? Another church on the campus, guys. The Church of the Risen Lord. Look at this. I hope it's opened. Oh, it's beautiful. Look. So this is actually a Protestant church and I really love the design. It looks a little bit like a saddle of a motorbike. Look how beautiful. And what I also really love is that it has plenty of windows. 
so you can admire the beauty on the outside with all the greenery so nice and up over there when there is a mass that's where they will sing play some music yeah, it's a beautiful church made in 1956 so guys I for sure didn't expect to find two churches here on the campus so I wonder what more we will find here and just like in Hollywood over here they have a walk of fame look it's the dog walk of fame <laughs> And over here, it even says they have a university hotel. Look over here, guys. We have a jeepney graveyard. Look at this. May you all rest in peace, lovely jeepneys. That is some weird monument, Matt. What do you think it is? Is it like some futuristic weapon or something like that? For me, I think a propeller. A propeller? I think for me, it's like some sort of blaster that can shoot down spaceships or something like that. <laughs> what do you guys think it is? Leave it in the comments. It's a blaster, right? Look at this epic statue, guys. Amazing. It's uh, all in Tagalog. No uh, English explanation. But it's an epic monument. Look at this, like planting the flag, waving his machete, celebrating the victory. So the explanation is in Tagalog, so I don't know a thing about it. Uh -uh. I will ask Mats what it is. What is it, Mats? This a statue shows the uh, the independence of the Philippines, but it focuses on how they respect of the heroes in our country. Yeah. Uh, so they built with these forms of monument, August. 27 1911 but they build here in this university during uh, November 29 1968 so for the memories of all the national heroes fighting for our liberty so they built like form of this okay Mabuhay ang Pilipinas <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Getting silly here at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. It really is a nice university. I love it because of all the greenery. I know I said it a couple of times, but it's really, really beautiful. It's actually really nice to study here, I think. If I would pick one university in the Philippines, it probably would be this one. Did you know that this best university that we have? Yeah, it's number one number, university number, in the number, Philippines, yes. yes. Some of the experts are graduate or alumni, or alumni with this institution. Oh. Yeah. One is example that we had 20, uh, 21 years in the service of the country. President Ferdinand Marcos Sr is one of the alumni in this university oh, okay. also with uh, Ramon Magsaysay one of the president also in our country oh, they and all some, studied here yeah and oh. some of the um, famous Filipinos that can contribute the, their expertise in our country oh that's yeah. nice so it seems that this is the number one university in the Philippines so if you want to make a change in the Philippines or maybe even in the world and you want to study in the Philippines, go to this one. The zero tuition fees, you only pay one peso. Here? But you need to pass the examination for entrance from them. Ah, okay. But if you only pay one peso, how does this university actually earn money? Mm, we don't know. I don't have an idea. Maybe they have a lot of sponsors. Yes. It could be. Or maybe even the government pays a lot of money to this university. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 
But what I do know is if you want to study in Europe, it will cost you a lot of money. Here another building, the Institute of Biology. How many institutes they have here? It's uh, incredible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you probably beat me again, like last time. I'm a terrible basketball player. Oh, it's too hot to be good. Yeah. Mats, you lost your slipper there. <laughs> You're so excited. It's because I'm almost going back to Belgium. She's so excited. Oh. So I will not annoy her anymore. Really? <laughs> no, I, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Where, where are we going? Where can we get out of here? <laughs> We're stuck here, Matt. Yeah. It seems I have to stay in the Philippines after all. And over here we have like another open air complex. Look at this. It's nice. Having an event here in the summer. The crowds here gathering, having a lot of fun, yeah. making some noise. Shouting Robbie Troubles! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, but it's a nice place for concerts and everything. Yeah. They even have some sheep here. I'm not joking, look, they're at the tree. They have some sheep. The sheep enjoying their meal. Ah, and even more sheep there. Look guys, we are on stage. It's gonna end any second now. So... Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. This was Robbie Travels from the University of the Philippines. Woo! Diliman. <laughs> I will see you guys soon on another adventure. Take care and goodbye.